Welcome back everybody to Super Luigi Galaxy. Yes, that's what I will be calling this from video number two onward. I will go to Honey Hive Galaxy since that just opened up. Be Luigi takes flight, not be Mario. Be Luigi. Oh man, the memories. This music. I remember I got this for Christmas, like 2007, because that's when this came out. About that time. I remember playing this for hours on end. Right. Now we have our B form. Okay, those enemies will try to fly toward us instead of flying away from us. There's another bee mushroom there if you lost him on the slide. Otherwise, that would be kind of a dick move. You would be stuck with no way to get back and such. Okay, I'm gonna let these guys get close. Like some star bits because I know I'm gonna need them later. So why not start collecting them now? Ah, and yes, part of the uh, bee mushroom power up is to stick onto these things. Climb that sucker. I was not aiming for that correctly! Itchiness going with, uh, star chips. This is awkward. Two, three, four, and five. Let's fly over here. Reach here as a bee. This guy's like, oh my god, a bee! Wait a minute. I'm lost with Luigi, but I'm right here. Unless... There's a second Luigi or something, but... <laughs> that would be crazy. What are you talking about? Crazy motherfucker. One forty two. I'm going to need more than that. Hmm. Yeah, Luigi does have a nice ring to it, and I'll give it that. Point the camera over there. That doesn't mean I'm actually going to go over there. Okay. 
I'm actually going to go back to Good Egg and do the other boss. Like a boss? Possibly. King Caliente! Oh, I remember how I derped so much after this fight my uh, previous playthrough. So funny. I remember Prometheus was there. Collecting star bits because I'm going to need them. No, I'm going to need these in the future, so why not pick them up now? Crazy things. It would be less annoying if you didn't slide everywhere. Ah, damn. Uh, where am I going again? I kind of forgot. I must be going... Oh, right! Yeah. I remember now, I know I can completely skip this. I don't know how I did not see that launch star up there. I guess I was just too busy saying, hey, I'm gonna need star bits. Alright, y'all, I, I know I can freaking get up there. Told ya. I can't even get up there as Mario. Cause I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna free that toad. Oh come on, just, just freaking do a thing. Gotcha. There's a minigame in that pipe, but why would I waste my time with that? Oh shit. I forgot about that! It's been a little while since I've played this. Luckily there's a coin right here, so... I'm not too concerned about it. That was cool. Right then. I remember here where I've made the things like cross over and shit. And I did it again! I guess that's just because I know positioning. Alright, boss time! Look out. Alright, that's one. Remembering that every boss drops star bits. So you might want to pick those up. Now he's going to start releasing these fire fuckers. 
Which I guess are bubbles. Which I guess is appropriate when you think about it. Lol's easy. You will not defeat me so easily. Am I gonna jump in the lava again? How about now? Fuck that noise. Two sixty one. I guess we're doing good. I'm not going to go to that new galaxy just yet. Unlike my previous playthrough, I'm going to try and clear as much stuff as I can before I move on. The only reason I went to Honey Hive, like, kind of out of order, was because I felt like it. Just because, fuck it. Trouble on the tower! Ground pound those. Most of the time, yeah, you get star bits out of these, but sometimes you get pathways like this. Wasn't directly under the question mark block. Get a few star bits out of that. Get some of these. Now we got this shenanigan. Now we got a billboard that will want to talk to us, but I think I'm just gonna skip that. Screw that noise. Get star bids out of that for some reason. And there's a launch star up here. We just. If I know how to do controls for wall jumping correctly, we might actually have a shot at this. Call it a hunch. Alright, flip between gravities. This doesn't look phallic at all, what are you talking about? Haha! -ha. Got you before you could flip back up. I want that! Rainbow Luigi! Killing enemies much better with fabulous power! There we go, I knew I could get up there. Okay, that'll get the windmill going. Too easy to dodge. If you go down there, I believe there is a life mushroom, but why would you need it for this piece for this piss easy boss? Something I don't think I mentioned in my first playthrough of this. If you do a spin near an enemy, and then do a ground pound, it will actually home in on the enemy. Which makes things like ten times easier. Let's 
six stars already. Okay, now we're doing good on star bits. I think I've said that for like the past two stars now. Alright then, let's finish what we can do in Honey Hive Galaxy for now. Do mission number three. Big bad bugaboom. Alliteration. Always a staple of Nintendo stuff. Music is a little bit more intense. No. Shit. Let's get up here. Neighbors are causing trouble. Well, maybe you should, like, call and file a complaint or something. Nah, you're really just gonna leave this all to me? Ah, uh, fine. Boss time! Alright, first hit is easy, just do that. Now he's gonna start taking flight. Right, that's two hits, and now he's pissed. The fact that he's pissed is going to make this third hit not all that easy to land, but you can still do it. You failed! You poof pathetically while I claim the power star of victory. Yeah! Alright, so I reckon that's going to be all for part two. So after we go through all this stuff. Discovered a new galaxy. And I just saw a Hungry Luma out there. I believe that Hungry Luma requires 400 star bits. But we'll see what's up with those galaxies and that Hungry Luma next time. So see you all in part three.